check that out, man. Them can hey, one thing about Kansas City that I always respect, they never stop. They never stop. They try to get anything. They will they are willing to try anything out all the time. They they never stop. Anyway, let's let's read this uh trade report. The Giants are trading wide receiver Kadarius Tony, former first round pick from Florida. Uh, shifty guy, real shifty, but it, it just it ain't worked out it, with New York. It ain't worked out. Um, but they're trading him to the Chiefs for a third round, oh, a third round comp pick, so a compensatory pick, and a 2023 six round pick. So low risk. It's a comp pick. So with the comp picks, those are picks that like not even are originally yours. You usually get those from uh, coaching hires and whatnot. Or if a player that became a free agent, his contract expired with your team, then they got signed for a certain amount uh, with another team. Um, But so again, low risk, not anything crazy. Uh, So they're trading Kadarius Tony to the Chiefs for a third round comp pick and a 2023 six round pick. I call those throwaway picks. I mean, it's no disrespect to the players that are drafted in those rounds because a lot of times, say, hey, some of those guys work out. But um, those are a lot less pressure picks because those are way later rounds. And But, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, KC, um, we know uh, Kadarius Tony. he's been hurt um, a lot. He's missed a significant amount of time with the Giants. Uh, so I think KC, they looking at this like it's potential. When they redid, I think, Travis Kelsey's contract a couple of weeks ago, um, a lot of people were wondering, all right, who's it going to be? What's it going to be? There were rumors that they could possibly trade. I mean, not trade for, they could possibly sign an Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, to add him to the roster, and that really wouldn't have been a surprise with the Kansas City Chiefs because, again, they're always trying, man. They're always trying, always, man. No matter what uh, their, their cap room is looking like, no matter what players they added already, they're always trying. Um, this offseason, of course, Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, with the departure of Tyreek Hill, um, Juju Smith-Schuster, they got him. Uh, Valdez uh, Sca- Sca- Scaling, Scalding, I always forget how to say his last name. But y'all, MVS, that's what I'm going to call it, MVS. Of course, Cap- Travis Kels, um Clyde Edwards, Elia, uh, Gerard McKinnon, um, still, of course, McCole Hardman, too. And the Chiefs, overall, uh, they still been doing their thing. Um, Patrick Mahomes, he is obviously amazing, amazing quarterback, uh, always gets it done, well, most of the time. 99% of the time, he usually be getting it done. Uh, the, the, the scheme, the way that they get different players involved, um, the, the creativity in their offense is just... It's a beautiful thing. So now you you couple that creativity, then you couple those players that the Kansas City Chiefs already have. You add a Kadarius Tony into the mix. It could be a beautiful thing. And I think one of the biggest things that he will hopefully get there is just an opportunity. That's it, an opportunity. That that that's what he'll need an opportunity. Um, it'll be a fresh start for him. I mean, the Giants they they looking good right now. So I mean, he going he's going from a winner though to a winner. He's going from an NFC current winner to somebody who's been winning in the AFC for years. Uh, KC obviously been holding it down for years. Ever since Patrick Mahomes took over, even with Alex Smith, they had been doing pretty good. But Patrick Mahomes took them to a whole uh, another level. Um, but, again, it's very, very low risk. It's, it's nothing crazy. And worst case scenario, worst case scenario is if it doesn't work out. Because I know a lot of people think, hey, man, well, this guy, Kadarius Tony, he's been hurt and da 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 And that's cool. I, I get that. But um, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out. And it's like, okay, all they gave up was a, a third-round comp pick. So in the comp picks, those are extra picks. Those are not your regular picks. Now, again, those, those picks can work out. They can help you. But those are not your normal picks. So it's an extra pick that you got. So they give up a third-round comp pick in a 2023 Six rounder? I think it was a 2023 six rounder. I, I said it early in the video and I already forgot. But again, low risk. So again, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, it's like, okay, Chiefs would be like, all right, we tried. We tried. Um, I don't remember what year Kadarius Tony got drafted, so I'm not sure when it's time for his fifth year option. But again, these will be this will be an option that the, the Chiefs will have. This will be an option that they have because he's still on his rookie contract. Uh, a lot of people thought that him or Darius Slayton would may get traded even before the season started. 
and neither one of them got moved. Uh, but now it's like, all right, we in week eight. Trade date, the trade deadline is here, so teams are starting to stuff is starting to pick up steam a bit. Um, so yeah, solid move for the Chiefs. Um, just again, an another helper, somebody else to help out, and that's it. Like with the Chiefs, what I was talking about earlier, the the thing I like about them with the fact that they're always trying. Uh, I remember guys like uh, they signed guys like Le'Veon Bell, and it's like okay, Le'Veon Bell obviously was past his prime, but Chiefs were like, you know what? He's out there. He's been a weapon in the past. Let's see what he's got. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, Shady McCoy. LaShawn, LaShawn McCoy. They tried him out. I mean, I think, yeah, he won a Super Bowl with them. Then he won a Super Bowl with the Bucks. So he just like, that boy's a Super Bowl champion. But anyway, uh, LaShawn McCoy. Uh, Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. So Chiefs, they, they tried, man. I remember they, um, they, I think they were interested in, no, not that. They were trying to get, um, Trent Green, I think. Not Trent, ugh, not Trent Green, Trent Brown. Um, the uh, the left tackle from the 49ers a couple years ago, I remember, because they were going crazy on the offensive line with all these signings and whatnot, because uh, they had signed Joe Thune. Uh, and, uh, again, the Chiefs, they uh, always trying. Chiefs, they make sure that they have no excuses for continuing to try to add talent wherever. Um, what? Oh, it always takes me back too to the year. I never forget where they had one hundred seventy-seven dollars in cap space. One hundred seventy-seven dollars in cap space. Some people were thinking, "Oh man, who are they gonna have to get rid of? Is is Chris Jones gonna be gone?" Uh, that was before Patrick Mahomes, of course, signed his deal. Um, but they they made it happen. They re-signed Patrick Mahomes, re-signed Travis Kelsey, re-signed uh, Chris Jones. They 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 made it happen. Did I say? I think I said Travis Jones. I I was meant to say they re-signed Patrick Mahomes. And re-sign Chris Jones. Uh, but anyway, shout out to the Chiefs. Add another weapon. Will it work out? Hey, it's to be determined. But is this like a, a needle mover for the Chiefs? No, it's not a needle mover for the Chiefs. Uh, but it is somebody that if they can live up to even three quarters of the talent that they have. And the reason that they got drafted in the first round. If they can even be three quarters of that. Uh, then the Chiefs, this will be a nice piece that they added.